train travel in India has just become more expensive. Hundreds of millions of commuters will now have to pay more to use one of the world's largest rail networks. This in turn is expected to push up the prices of other items. Everything in India moves along the country rail network, from rice to coal. Everything will become more expensive because of this. But 19-year-old student Ashish Agarwal can't afford to miss the train. It's his main mode of transport. His daily commute in New Delhi won't be affected by the new ticket pricing. But the long-distance trips Agarwal makes at least once a month will. He hopes the extra money he spends will help to better the experience. The increase in railway ticket prices will help the government to give us better facilities like clean toilets and trains that run on time. Our country's railway budget is running at a loss, so an increase in fares might help the government to better manage it. Paying more isn't an issue for me if I get better facilities in return. Ram Pratap has been maintaining this track since the 1980s. The British built India's vast rail network more than 100 years ago. Now the Indian government wants to raise more money to improve it. But Pratap says he has little incentive to work harder. I don't get any benefit in doing this job. The railway promised me salary raise and overtime, but I still haven't got it. I work day and night and it's hard for me to feed my family. Overhauling the country's rail network is one of the new Indian government's top priorities and its allies agree, just as long as the changes don't hurt their constituents. The increase in rail ticket prices across India represents Prime Minister Narendra Modi's first big policy challenge and his last-minute decision to roll back the 14% hike on some sectors shows just how difficult it is for any government to push through changes that affect hundreds of millions of people, regardless of how necessary they may be to help revive India's economy. Nididat Al Jazeera, New Delhi.